The W matrix defines the level of spatial connectivity between pairs of locations on the map. In the binary case, W sub IJ will equal 1 if locations I and J are neighbors. Otherwise, WIJ will equal 0. So we can apply a binary W matrix for different levels of, of contiguity. For the rook case, we're only going to consider rook type neighbors. Say if this is I, then I is going to be neighbors with J1, J2, and J, J3, and J4. In the queen case, I is also going to be neighbors with these corners. And we can also have first order and second order. So we can have a queen, first order, that's this, and the second order would be if we go out one level further and say that I is also going to be neighbors with all of these locations out here as well. Okay, so we can have first order and second order rook and queen contiguity in bi for binary weight matrices, for binary W matrices. But W doesn't have to be a 0, 1 matrix. It's often the case that we want to have a more nuanced definition of how neighborly two points are. And one of the ways that we can do that is by applying a distance decay function. So in this case, WIJ, so the, the weight between I and J, is equal to DIJ, the distance between IJ, all raised to negative B. So in other words, if we had a plot of distance versus weight, in these distance decay functions, we just assume that as distance increases, the weight between two points decreases. So we have curves like this. So points that are really close together are going to have high weights, and points that are really far apart are going to have low weights.